Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I haven't made a summoning video, I think, in quite a while. Um, I collected a few eggs. I actually saved a few light dark eggs. Unfortunately, I didn't get the one yesterday. You know, I was short like one bingo piece as always. Um, but I do, I do have a few eggs and I have like four light dark eggs. So I'm just going to be summoning them and um, shamelessly advertising my clan because my, my clan mates wanted me to to talk a little bit about our competitive clan. Um, it's finally formed now and we're actively recruiting. I actually just gave you guys a heads up last time. So without further ado, I will pause some eggs and then when we were full, we're gonna do some rebirths and hopefully I can get a light Yeti with like, you know, triple square or something like that. Um, so our, our competitive clan, our new clan is called uh, Luxuria. My my old clan was called Nvidia, um, and the the new clan is basically a Pacific time clan. So it's the time zone for like Los Angeles, uh, Vancouver, UTC plus eight, I think, um, because daylight saving time just ended. So it's UTC plus eight. Um, you you guys do the calculations. I have no idea how to really <laughs> calculate that, um, depending on your your time time zone. But yeah, it's. I think Titan battles happen at like 12 at that exact time zone. So it's like, I think one happens at night, one happens in the morning. But anyways, it's UTC plus eight. Um, and we're only recruiting active players. Now, I actually decided to stay in the non-competitive clan. Uh, the reason why is I, uh, well, I, I feel like I, I feel like I, I, I'm re not really that competitive. Like, when I do Titan battles, I just go in and do random shit. I'm not, like, extremely competitive. I basically just, you know, I fuck around a lot. Um, but we're recruiting active players, and the requirements are um, that you do at least one Titan battle a day. Well, actually, you don't have to do it every day, but you have to do at least, um, at least half of them, you know, throughout the week. So if, if there's, like, two Titan battles, um, you should at least do one. And um, they're saying that the, it's, it might be subject to increase later on. So I didn't make these rules, by the way. These are these are by the like the tr the, the real tryhards, the real tryhards. Um, but th this clan is going to be one that's going to um, eventually try to aim for like to, want to to become one of the top clans. They're pretty serious. They're trying to like. Um, put down like spreadsheets and attack orders and you know people that are spe like you know specifically trying to fight a certain element of titans um, they're trying to to do that like focused on a certain element of titans this way they can climb higher and kind of just uh, you know kind of kind of strategize a little bit instead of just having pure anarchy and chaos like we did before um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to uh, try to, you know, if you want to be in a top clan and, um, and get your Siegfrieds faster, get your Poseidons, then that's that's a pretty good idea. Um, the other thing is there's going to be two clan fest requirements, like two two poles for clan fest. Um, I think. I think you're supposed to do CVC every day. Like, there's 12 hours to do it, so like you should probably do do at least three fights. And the level requirement is um, level 46 and above. So three things: um, always do at least at least do half your Titan battles, and do at least two pulls. The reason why they're saying to do two pulls is because if you do two pulls, then um, you basically get the box. I think, and all your climates like benefit from from you after after you do two poles so it basically helps out the clan like that's the that's the minimal requirement to for the clan to get anything you just do two poles um, but yeah the level requirement is level level 46 um, but but um, there's an exception for I guess original player original clan members from the other clan and people that are that are uh, more focused on 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 doing like clan festival, doing summons. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the the competitive clan. Um, for the other clan, the the casual clan, we're also recruiting because we lost a lot of our players. Um, the com competitive one actually most players moved over. 
and very very few people actually stayed behind and I I was actually one of the people who stayed behind um, they've been trying to pull me over to the competitive one I you know I, I do have all the like all the qualifications to to be there but I kind of I guess I there, there's like two things I want one is like I um, I don't want to be forced to have to be competitive like if I if I actually do want to you know ever slack off it's perfectly fine and also I don't really mind that much like I already have my Siegfried so I can use my like I can I can go harder and and try to carry the uh, the team when we're doing like clan PvP and also trying to do um, do Titans a little bit like my Titans is really bad but it's still pretty good like I just throw in random units and I still do like three four million damage so it's not a uh, it's not the worst thing in the world and for clan PvP um, I'm quite strong. I usually always win. Like I, I, I uh, very rarely lose. So there's that as well. Um, and also my clan def PVP defense is quite strong. So if I just leave it there, I can actually carry the, uh, you know, I can carry my my clan mates quite a lot. So if you're, um, you know, if you're not that competitive, you can join my join my non-competitive clan. Now the I'll put a I'll include their the clan names below in the description of the video. Um, the competitive clan is called Luxuria. It's based on the um, Latin for the the you know the, the vice of lust, you know the, the seven deadly sins, um, and Nvidia is uh, based on the the vice of envy. You know, so that's that's why I named the, the clans that way. You know, eventually one day we're gonna we're gonna be so big we're gonna have seven clans. We're gonna make the seven deadly sins in MSL. Um, maybe, maybe one day that'll happen. But we're gonna have to have people join us first. Um, for the casual clan, there's no requirements. There's there are zero requirements. Like you can be you can be level whatever, and you can join. Um, if you join the clan and like don't log on for like a long long time, you know I might kick you because I might think you might have quit the game. But there, there are like no requirements. Like even if you do like no Titan battles, no, um, no, uh, no clan fest pulls. Actually, wait. Why would you join a clan if you don't do any Titan battles? You like, you don't even get the benefits for, uh, for being in a, in the clan. I guess you can leech a bit for clan fest, but that's that's pretty much it. I don't really mind that much for, um, you know, like a lot of people are like trying to summon a whole shit ton for clan fest, so like everybody gets a whole bunch. Oh, I finally got a four star. But I think it's fine. I think it's it's all right. I'm pretty chill. You can you can chill with me, or you can uh, you can go with them and and try to try to aim for the top if you're interested in doing that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about um, me recruiting for my clan. I'll probably like shamelessly advertise every single video. Be like, hey, until we're full, like I'm gonna I'm gonna advertise pretty damn hard until we're full. We're gonna be like, hey, uh, you know, we have two clans. One of them's casual, the other's competitive. The competitive one, uh, there's a few requirements. Do half your Titan battles. Do two clan fest pulls, and be level 46 and above. That's pretty much it. And also be active. I think be active is like. Like if you're not active, I I probably might just kick you off the casual one as well because I I might think you quit the game if you haven't logged on for like a week. And I notice that's only if I notice. Like before, I would not notice for like a month, and I find out someone hasn't logged on for like thirty days, and then I eventually kick that person. Not the best luck today in summoning. I only got two, uh, well, actually two four stars within like twenty something eggs. It's not, it's not the worst. It's actually pretty normal. Let me just get some fodder, and we can do the rebirth. I'm actually quite close to the guaranteed egg, so we can see if I can, uh, if I can get a light yeti with like triple square. I also need a dark yeti because I want to raise it to. Uh, raise it to max to complete the astro guide. It's always worth it to um, to Evo three and complete the astro guide for four star monsters that have three star counterparts because it's it's really really cheap to evolve those. 
So you basically you get a lot of free astrogens. Well, not a lot, but like around 200-ish. I mean, you already get astrogens for evolving, but you lose a bit because like 4-star monsters are a little bit more expensive to evolve. But you can also evolve the different elements. So say for example you're trying to evolve a, a Dark Yeti. You can evolve the Water, um, Wood, and Fire one to Evil 2. So there are like 3-star... Um, Three star evil two. I forgot how many how much astrogems you get for those. I think it's like ten or twenty astrogems, but you still you still get a, a, f a bit of astrogems for doing that. And then you plus the, um, the original quest for evolving. So every evil two you already get three astrogems. And then when you make an evil three, you get you get sixty astrogems. And then for the light dark monsters, since they're nat fours, when you make them evil two, I think you get sixty. And then when you make them evil three, I think it's like a hundred and eighty. I might be wrong with the numbers, um, but you basically like you. You get like around 200 more than if you were to just, you know, slime, sp spend that money in slime. Um, I actually have to spend a little bit more money. But anyways, the the cost for or the astrogems that you get for um, evolving the monster would definitely be, you know, be more more than the cost, which basically means that you profit from making it Evo three. So anytime there's a rebirth monster um, in the future, like rebirth monsters always have three star counterparts, you want to make sure to always evil three of those monsters for the astrogems. Just at least try to get one one copy of each monster and evolve it to evil three, and you basically you just get a few astrogems. It's it's pretty much free, um, and sometimes those monsters are still usable. Like, the Dark Yeti is not really usable, but I still want to raise it for the Astrogen. So even if the, the monster is completely useless to you, um, you don't, you can still, you can still raise it for the Astrogems. The Dark Yeti is actually alright for early game players. So if you're like, if you happen to get her early on, and you you just started playing the game, like you got her from Rebirth, um, you can actually use her a little bit for PvP, for like mid-tier PvP. I wouldn't really 6-star her, but you can actually use her at 5-stars max level. Um, that could work. Like, it's not that much of a cost to to raise a monster to 5-stars. Um, in the future, she's not very good for Titans, so I'm not too sure. I guess since you already evil 3 her, you could just, like, while you're farming, take her along, get her to max level, and then just, like, use her for PvP to just CC. Just build her like tanky and you can like CC people. Just use her temporarily. And then eventually like, you know, late game she kind of falls off so you don't really need her anymore. But it's still worth it to to grab one in Evo 3 just, just for the astrogens, it's not for anything else. The light one's quite good for uh, PvP defense. Especially if you could put on Pugilist set, I think she'd be pretty... She'd be pretty sick. Um... I have quite a lot of things that I can use for rebirth. We're definitely gonna hit the 30 counter. We're gonna see which uh, which Yeti I get. I have one light one, but her slots aren't. Um, they're not bad, but they're not the best. So I do want to try to get another one that has like better slots and raise that one instead. But if I get the dark one, it's also good because I I don't have a dark one yet, so I can. I can try to evolve it to um, get the astrogems. Oh, here we go. What's it going to be? Alright, it's a light yeti. Let's see, uh, let's see what gem slot she has. I'm quite curious. Oh, this one's not too bad. This one's double square triangle. It has two squares, which is slightly better. I have some pretty good uh, pugilist square gems that I can put. Like this one. Uh, this one's got... Oh, wait. This one's not the good one. Um, this HP one. This one's got 23% resist. 14.5 crit. Actually, I should use this on aggressors. This is probably a lot better on like a dark miho or something. Um... Same with this one. This one has resist and crit, and also it has flat HP, which um, on an HP percent gem, which means this is really, really strong for like HP aggressors. I 
might temporarily put on her. I'm not I'm not too sure. Maybe I can get one with like triple square. That would be amazing. Like if I could get a triple square light yeti. That would be so awesome. Alright, um, since the Yetis are farmable, I don't really need to save them. I can actually just keep using them for rebirth until the end of the festival. Actually, even if monsters are farmable... Oh, crap. I was supposed to save birdies. I just, like, fed all my birdies, rip. I forgot about that. I have, like, this two dark birdies I want to raise to evil three, but I'm out of birdies. I kind of use them all for rebirth. But it's fine. It's it's all right. I'll I'll be able to summon more in the future. Like I'm in no I'm in I'm not in any rush to evil three or birdie, so I can just I can wait. It's fine. Um, we have Phibian. We don't need these variants. Maybe the Sea Star variants actually useful because this is a level four variant. Actually, no. I already have a level four variant. Unless I have a level five variant. Um, it's not better than the one I have already. I really need a level 6 variant Sea Star. Oh crap, I'm out of gold. Wait, 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 wait. We have the we have the perfect solution. Don't worry guys. We're we're uh Okay, what's what what do we sell today? Uh Slumbering City Extreme. Alright, these these sell for a bit. We need. We probably need about like three hundred thousand to complete to finish summoning all our eggs. So we're just gonna have to click all the way to three hundred. Please four thirty three. Please, please make a plus ten. Please, please make a plus a hundred. I'll be very, very thankful. If you make a plus a hundred to sell these, I will be so thankful. One of these days, I'm probably going to have to sell my extra low ones because they have, like, no use. Unless, like, in the future they can combine the lows to make a high. That would actually be pretty good. You know why I ran out of gold so fast? Rebirth costs so much money. Like, Rebirth costs uh, 10k each. So that's actually quite a lot. You do, like, 10 Rebirths, that's, like, that's, like, 100,000. You just, you go broke instantly, basically. And the special eggs are so expensive to summon. Like, light dark eggs are 50k each to summon. You know, I haven't gotten a lightning in a light dark egg for like the longest time. Last one was that dark yaksha. Before that was uh, was actually like the Dark Indra, but that was like so long ago. It's been it's been months since like I used to have like the craziest streak when I was summoning light dark monsters, but I I don't know. I, I think I have a theory. I think I have this theory. You get better light dark luck when you uh, when you wail. Actually, I just had more light dark eggs. Actually, I was, I was wailing pretty hard when I first started the game, but now I'm broke, so uh, no more wailing. It's alright. We have we have other people wailing and carrying the game. No worries there. You know, I just wanna, I just wanna fun light dark nat four, nat five, or not nat five. Nat five is too much to ask for, but like a fun light dark nat four. You know, something like I don't know, like light tiger or something. I'll have one of those. Oh, I, I so told, I so wish my yaksha was light instead of dark. She would have been a lot more awesome. I'm going to be out of gold again. I'm going to have to sell some resources. These cost 20k each to summon. This is, this, these are so expensive. I'm not complaining, but I'm just, I'm just merely stating a fact. These are so expensive to summon. 
I'm gonna have to sell like a hundred more uh, <laughs> min materials in order to summon all of these, all four of these light dark eggs. Light dark eggs are 50k each to summon. So, you know, I good thing I good thing we have this now because I I like I did not come pre prepared. Um, I guess we can sell these. I farm slumbering city quite a lot, so. I have a lot more of these than anything else. We just basically have to click till we get a get to a hundred. Uh, super fast clicking. We're going ham all the way. All right, hundred. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky today. Ooh, at least I got a cult. That's 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 pretty good. I don't like the new light dark nat fours that they added. I like the uh, like the old ones a lot more. Actually, I just like the cult. The cults are really good. Cults are actually really strong for titans. Oh, nice! I got a variant dark cult. Ooh, level four variant too. It's actually pretty good. Cult, please. Oh, nice! I got three cults. I got three cults and four eggs. That's actually pretty nice. Colts are quite strong. Oh, this one's got two squares. This one doesn't have squares, but this one's a variant. Colts are quite strong because they uh, they have armor break, which is really good for, for Titans. I'm lacking a lot of these. And they're single target damage dealers too. And they're dark attackers, so they have the, the crit damage. And they, uh, they have light predator, which basically gives them 100% damage against light. Like, they basically hit harder than a dark Atito if they... Uh, if they're hitting a light monster with their active, so very very strong against uh, against like light titan these monsters. I'll probably just feed the other two into this one. I might keep this one because this one has a square too, and then this one I'll feed into it. Um, I'm currently raising a second cult, so we're gonna wait. Where where are all my cults? Yeah, I have, I have my first one. This one has like all three, one of each. This one has really good slots as well. This one's double square diamond. Um, this one's not very good, but this one's also double square diamond. So I actually want to keep this one. This one's a level two variant. It's not the best. This one's a level five variant, which is really good. Uh, this one's only level four. This one's level four as well. So I guess I can feed the other ones into him, um, and then keep this one, I guess. So we'll lock him. And I'm out of gold. I can't even feed it. So, yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, summoning. I I didn't I don't ha I didn't get like extremely good luck today. I didn't really get anything special. But the colts were kind of good because um, you know I do want to build a few armor breaking monsters that I can use for for titans. Um, even if you're not using them against light titans, they're still they're still pretty decent monsters, you know, because they're like single target nukers and they're dark, so they they actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're interested in joining the clan, um, you can you can join my Discord. I actually forgot to say this. I'll include. I'll, I'll include everything in the description below like if you want to join the clan um, join the discord link and then I'll put the I'll post the clan requirements I'll post the clan names you can send a request to the, the clans and um, you can hit up well you can actually hit me up for if you want to join the casual clan you can hit up the people that are that have like their names labeled as a uh, superbia captain on um, on my discord or luxuria captain not, not superbia. I was gonna name it, name it Super, Superbia, but it was taken. But the you can name you can uh, uh, hit up anyone that has like Luxuria Captain, or you can actually hit me up and then I can ask them as well. So that also works. But anyways, like just join Discord and just PM anyone. Like you can PM me, you can PM the captains um, if you want to join the clans. And I'll include everything in the description below, like the clan requirements, the the everything. I'll just I'll. I'll just leave it there, just just to make things simple. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.